I'm Jen Cassell, and I'm a marine biologist at the Marine Science Institute at UC Santa Barbara. And this is my dive team. It's Eric Nickish, he's the captain of the Cormorant. And these are the divers. This is Peter Carlson, Avery Parsons Field, and Katie Davis. The five of us have been working together for years to better understand the marine environment, researching and exploring. We're doing community surveys of all the invertebrates and algae in the local rocky reefs and kelp forests. We monitor juvenile fish coming into the Santa Barbara Channel here. Um, we have various sites set up across the islands. Those islands, the closest one's 20 miles from here and the furthest one's 40 miles from here. So we take the boat out for four days at a time, do about 26 different sites. These guys do the anchoring and all that stuff. We'll do four or five dives, sometimes six to seven dives a day, and doing the scientific, bringing up samples, measuring, and identifying species. People's greatest misconception about the ocean is that it's so large that humans don't have the ability to change it. That's one of the things that we take a look at. In this area where we work, there's been a big chain of marine protected areas that have been put in place. So these are places where people can't fish. Each time we go, things are changing a little bit in these areas because of what humans are not doing in them. These places that were barren, a lot of them have turned into these nice kelp forests again, which is awesome. It's similar to parks that we already have on land. It makes sense on multiple levels to set aside areas in the ocean as well so that my kids can enjoy the ocean the same way that I have. I think we've all kind of spent our lives striving for this type of opportunity. Most scientists are highly collaborative these days because we're answering bigger questions. And when times do get tough, where would you rather be? In, in, yeah, in the water. <laughs>